It's day 22, and Sally is on her way into central London to read for Choice FM DJ Richard Blackwood. He's overcome a lot of problems, this man. I know absolutely nothing about him, but that's just the sense that I get. I think that he's still battling with demons. He loves, he loves to live in the fast lane. Comedian and actor Richard Blackwood burst onto the scene in 1999 as Britain's answer to Will Smith. For a time, he was stepbrother to Naomi Campbell. I've seen a second before once, but it wasn't a booked one. I didn't actually go to a meeting and say, can I have a meeting with a, a psychic? It just so happened that I bumped into a woman in um, outside Hamleys. And um, yeah, she gave me a reading and um, she told me that I was going to go for a bad spell. And I went bankrupt. Also there to put Sally's abilities to the test is Richard's psychic, Cat B. His partner in crime, you could say, on the radio, just looking at his photograph, He's a very gentle soul. Is there anything happening big in my life that I'd like Sally to help me understand? Yes, but I can't tell you, because if I tell you, that means you might be going to tell Sally, and I want to test her. Now, if I'm able to read these two men together, which I don't know if that's going to be possible, it could be quite amazing. Um, you are one of the kindest fellas I've met in a long time. Why do I see lots of animals around you? <laughs> he actually loves aquariums. Any animal you can ask him about, he knows the answer to. So I know for a fact that he's not saying that right now, but I'm thrown by the fact that you've said that. She touched your boy. Somebody. <laughs> no, no, she touched no, me. I've you gotta never keep it real. Seen you We've never keep met it real. No, but that's why. No keep spoke. it real. Keep no it real. Spoke. No one's spoken. Keep to it me. real. Okay, yeah. you're right. Richard is very generous, but with the women. He rules the roost. With you, the women rule the roost. So although you're a lot alike, you're very different in the bedroom. Yeah, I've been told that. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you tell just from looking at us which one's better? Yeah. And the girls, they see you coming and it's a bit like, we've got a right one here. Yeah. And you're not like that normally. No. You know, you're not. So why are you like it when you see a bit of totty? Why are you like it? We know each other's stuff. So for someone else to come and chat our stuff in front of us, it's a bit... It's like she's been sitting down on the phone listening yeah. to us. It's like, like she's like... had the operator clicking the guy on the yeah. phone now. Let's click it. Richard, TV and film. Very much I want to go sort of east with you. I want to go sort of to Australia, New Zealand. You could be huge. I'm actually in talks with somebody right now who is Australian about that same subject about, about having my own show. No question. Do you think I'll have more kids? Yeah. I think you'll have twin daughters. I can see a little boy. Yeah, I've got my little boy now, he's five years old. And I can see two little girls, but they'll be identical. But not necessarily with the girl you're with at the moment, Richard. Okay. Because you're like, it's almost like, well, I imagine a pancake and it's like, it's like, which one is it going to be? You know, you're that. <laughs> because, you know, let's face it, look at you. You're a walking Adonis. Thank you. And I can see somebody who is possibly of mixed race, beautiful, beautiful looking, and she could be a singer. I've got to leave. <laughs> I've got to leave. I've got to Now, you, I see Richard, you see. Driving down Pall Mall, spotting like the BMW shop, or even like you know the, the beautiful showrooms, all the lovely cars, and it's like got to di got to do a divert here. Got I see Cat looking in a magazine and thinking, where can I find an organic butcher? <laughs> so do you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. It's she really is like, touching some nerves up in here. They're both really lovely guys, but he's an amazing cook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's wild, I'm coming for dinner. He's an absolutely amazing cook. Where Richard, you see, it's like, where's Ramsay's restaurant? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you can both help the youngsters. Both of you can help them. Mm. Because, you know, you're fantastic role models. You've got to do it. Give her a own show. I now. love you both. You're now. both lovely. This is real. I've seen some fake ones. This is I the real deal. It. So impressed with psychic Sal, Richard and Kat invite Sally into the studio to give live readings across the capital's airwaves. Hello, what's your name and where are you from? I'm Ali Abby from Elephant Castle. <laughs> There's someone younger here, Abby, and it's like, oh my god! Hey, 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 Abby, hey, 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 you checking the young boys? Is that what's going on? Well, I've noticed the young boys, but I didn't know I liked them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, she's freaky. 
Wow. She's very freaky. First thing I want to say is that you're wasting time on him and you've got to move on. Is she touching any real nerves there? Okay, then she's touching the nerves. Ah, thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. Home run, slam dunk. She's like, you know, I don't know. She's bigger than the World Wide Web. She knows stuff that yeah, only we would know. Yeah, she's bigger than that. I yeah. Think.